Hello there folks, today we are taking a look at the game called Dungeon Rush. Uh, it's by Eli and uh, Rustan Hakanson and published by Lauta Bellit. Uh, it's their first game in a small box series, second one is Honshu, well-known game. So uh, the theme of this game is extremely unique and never heard before. Heroes going through the dungeon. <laughs> you have two heroes. Indeed. You have two heroes, you're going through different levels of dungeons. You be the smaller monsters, you level up and you try to defeat Dungeon Lord and its lackey. Yeah. Really easy theme, but let's go to the explanation of the game. Dungeon Rush is extremely simple. Each one of your hands represents a hero. So my left hand represents this hero, which is a sword sister. And, um, there are symbols on the card, so the swords, arrow, uh, wizard stuff, and a chief symbol, basically. Yeah, and my right hand has a witch, and you can see it has the wizard stuff and a chief symbol here. So, and the game is played over the course of nine rounds. First three rounds are in a dungeon level one. Uh, uh, second three rounds are in a dungeon level two and the last three rounds are in a dungeon level three. Uh, the monsters get from easy to hard basically. So each round, we, uh, the game is played from, from three to five players. Uh, each, round, each player will get two monster cards without looking at them. And then only three, one, two, three, everyone will reveal these monsters. And now basically you need to match symbols. So, as you can see on this monster you have, so in order to defeat him, you need to have a sword. And he will give you one uh, point, skull point, which is basically points at the end of the game. And you can use him later as a sword as well, when you will win him. So, basically, I look at these, but this is in real time, and we'll will reveal the monster at the same time and then we try to defeat them by placing hands on them like that. So right now it's just perfect. I can defeat this monster with my left hand hero because he has three swords so it needs only one sword I can beat this one. So if my witch beat the zombie now I will put the cards like that and I will add it to my hero. My hero will become stronger. The same goes to this one. And then we reveal the, the other, like the new cards, and then we go so on and so on. So you will basically get stronger and stronger. The thing is that, uh, for example, I was trying to beat this monster, and I put my left hand on, on this monster. But as I look at my sword sister, she doesn't have a wizard stuff symbol, which means I put the wrong hand here, or I, I could not defeat the monster. Which means this monster will become a penalty for me. Minus one point at the end of the game. I'll put it right here. So, and you will go into nine rounds. At the end you will also defeat uh, either uh, one of the dragons. Basically there is like the stronger creature and I don't know, the, the, the bigger the boss, the minion. So there are two bosses, you can beat either one of them. So you can you basically have to choose. I mean, either you beat this one and this one. You combine uh, the power of both of your heroes and then see if you can match these symbols. You get just extra points and everyone can do that. This is basically just extra points. And you will also count all the points from uh, defeated monsters that you got throughout the game. Uh, minus points for monsters that you could not defeat, that you put the wrong hand on and so on. And... Whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. So as always, we start with components and artwork, which is fine. It's okay in this game, the quality of the cards and such. So the art, art, artwork for me is not my style, but it's good. whatever. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Let's say quality is just a good for a small box card game. Mm -hmm. But the gameplay itself is really new and in a sense unique and innovative because you combine an uh, element of dexterity with the dungeon crawler mm -hmm. and overly it actually gives really a refreshing feel. Yeah, but on the other hand the innovativeness of this game doesn't add to complexity. Uh, it's, it's, it's easy to learn, it's easy to teach, it's really fast to play in my opinion. Yeah. 
Yeah, I actually agree and I will even say a little bit more. Uh, the game has perfect length. It's not too short, but if it would be a little bit longer, then you would lose because mm -hmm. you have to like, you know, act in real yeah. time and use hands. Yeah, that will take away the fun. It, it will just overstay its welcome. Yeah. yeah. So um, in this game, you actually have to think. Um, it's, At some point, yeah. You, yes, you have to think because you have two heroes and they may have different stats and you need to know like which uh, monster you're going to defeat or not mm -hmm. and which uh, stats do you want to um, do you want to like boost on, on your heroes, but you cannot overthink because if you over analyze other players will just take yeah. away all the yeah. monsters and you will stay with nothing. So well, basically there are always some monsters, but I mean like they can take the better ones away. Yeah, yeah and that's where I, I want to go uh, to the point of, of this levels of dungeon where you have the first, the second and the third level of dungeon. Uh, the first is really easy and you go with the relax and you basically boost your hero. The second one is a little bit harder and the third one uh, has the monsters with a lot of icons and yeah. then it starts to grow into that wait, oh, wait, uh, and then you and then uh, everyone goes fast and tries to grab a monster with good points and more mistakes happen in the in the third yeah, level. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's it's fun. Um, if it, like if you get, if you mistakenly like if you uh, want to defeat the monster, you try to defeat him. You won't defeat him. You get the negative points. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the most fun. It's the most fun in the third level of dungeon where the mistakes happen often. Second, third, yeah. So what I wanted to say is that getting negative points is fun in this game as well. I, I like uh, to see people getting confused, like yeah, oh, getting confused I cannot also, hit yeah. this one. I cannot fit, beat uh, this one. So oh, I'll take two hands on this one, and then you realize oh, I cannot do him either. Yeah. So right. yeah, these moments are fun. Yeah, I like it's that. It's all about that. And the the other thing is when you defeat monsters, uh, you will get these monsters as a boost as weapons on your hero. So your hero will become better and better. And I like this idea. It's it's an interesting. It's like an experience points, yeah? It's mm -hmm. an X XP like in every RPG and other dungeon crawls and such. But uh, this time it's done in a way of I defeat this monster, this monster becomes a extra weapon for me. So that, Most that's probably that, it can that's just give points. rather innovative for me. Yeah, at least. So that's 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 that. Yeah. So uh, regarding scaling, um, the more players the funner mm -hmm. but I think it was quite decent with three as well it's from three to five three mm -hmm. was okay it was decent yeah it four was, okay. was fun I believe five will be even better we, we, we'll more most confusion. likely try five really soon as well so yeah more hands more mixed yeah everything on the yeah. table it's it's rather loud with more players and that's great when you hear the stomps on the on the on the table the hands so yeah, but what do you think? Uh, who will enjoy this game? I think uh, it will suit for a really wide range of gamers. Mm -hmm. I'd even say it's easier to say who will not like the game. And it will be like a really hardcore Euro gamers who need their time to think. Mm -hmm. who, who doesn't like mm -hmm. those fast decisions, uh, yeah. who cannot stand real-time games, because it is in a sort of a real-time game. I would say, yeah, it, it's, I, can, I can count it as a real-time game. Because yeah. you, yeah. you reveal the monsters yeah. all at once, and then you, in a real-time, try to grab them. doesn't matter whose monster it was initially. So, mm -hmm. But all the rest people, I think all the rest, let's say, gamers, will definitely yeah. enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Families, teenagers, kids, it's definitely for really wide. Yeah. And for us, it's really good refresher in between like, different mm -hmm. games. If you play within the evening, you mm -hmm. play a strategic game, then you want to have that refresher. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is the point where, where you have to like, switch the way your mind works. Uh, this is the time when you make uh, it. I would agree. It's, it's, it's for that rather lazy, random uh, game, gameplay evening. I mean. Yeah. That, that thing where you just have a little bit of dexterity, you have a little bit of that loudness and such, and it's rather towards the party game as well, in my opinion. So it may suit those players who like that randomness, party games and dexterity. So, And my overall opinion on the game is that I, I do like the game, 
I can play it in the right moods, uh, with the right crowd. Uh, it's not a game that I would always pull out and play. Yep. So it plays well with more players as well. And yeah, like as we said, as we recommended to, to, to the players, it plays in certain situations and it plays really well so i think it will stay in our a collection lot. as well it will definitely stay in our collection i'm really sure on that so we didn't really know much about the game and if we would have been described the game i would think like meh whatever but we actually were offered the game and when mm -hmm. we played it was like wow really oh it's much much better than it sounds mm -hmm. it's it sounds silly but the gameplay is really fun mm -hmm. so yeah the Definitely Basically, like the, the, the only component, the fast play of this game saves the game from... Short gameplay. Sh sorry, yeah, fast and short gameplay. Short gameplay, what I want to say. So, but let's go to our dice ratings. Yep. I give this game six and a half dice out of ten. I give this game seven dice out of ten.